Hey, how are you doing? It's Matt Annerly from embnerd.com, and today I'm going to be giving you a quick walkthrough on how to create your own thread charts in Hatch. So there's a couple of reasons why you'd want to do this. Uh, it could be something simple as you have a particular palette that you must use for a certain type of customer. Say they only authorize you to use up to five colors. Uh, that is actually the case of this patch on the right. The full color version is on the left, but in order for it to match the new uniform standards, it has to be one of the four colors and the fifth one is kind of a morale patch only it's not authorized on an official patch so I'm going to show you how uh, I set it up for this situation so by clicking on the select thread charts I can go down and I can select my OCP one and you'll see that it switched from all of those hundreds of colors uh, that are default with hatch and it's going to show only these five that I have right now so now if I'm going to go through and I need to convert a, a full color patch like this over to this, which is how I actually did do that, I can just select all of the colors. I could actually just come up here, make it easier. Um, where is it? This one, and that's how I did it. So I pretty much just switched it to the spice brown color that I have here and made it super easy to do. So. Another reason why you would want to do this is say you're a embroidery shop, you have a shelf full of colors, they range from Madeira, Gunnold, Sulky, Coats, whatever, doesn't matter the brand. But you have customers sometimes that'll come in and they're like, hey, I need this in like a day. Um, what colors do you have? Uh, you, you could show them color books, you could highlight whatever colors you have uh, that requires upkeep and once you highlight a piece of paper it's now highlighted forever. The other thing you can do is you can digitize it and if you have a thread chart with just the colors that you have in stock then you can show them like on the screen uh, exactly what it would look like. So the way we're going to do this is you're going to need to uh, select manage and we're gonna click on create. So change the chart name to whatever you want. So I'm gonna do like my threads, oops, threads. And it's gonna be based on a existing thread chart. So this isn't really gonna matter. Um, basically what this is gonna do, it's gonna copy all of the threads from whatever thread chart you select. So if I choose poly 40 from Gunold, you're gonna see it's gonna load all of theirs in. Now, like I said, it has all of them. If you do have all of them, that's great, good for you. Uh, most people are not gonna have every single color that they have. So you can either go through individually and you can select them all using shift or control and you can remove them. Uh, since I only have so many, I'm just gonna completely clear it. And once I cleared it, obviously there's none and I can hit add. This is where you can manually put it in using a RGB code um, right here, or the hue, satin, uh, luminancy. Uh, you can usually get that from your thread manufacturers, or you can do it the very easy way. Um, the reason why you would do it that way is if there is not a thread chart available, uh, like Filtex, they didn't have one, so this is how you would have to do it. Um, or you can use like a program like Excel and auto convert everything into a CSV file because that's pretty much what these thread charts are. I'll have an article on that on EMB Nerd on how to do that uh, using like Excel. It really speeds up. But you can also click copy. So when you click on copy, it's gonna give you a name up here. So you're gonna select what thread uh, manufacturer you're using. So I'm going to go ahead and, because uh, I have some color codes memorized, I'm going to do poly 40. So I know that I have their white, I have their black. Um, I can go through here, I can select, I'm just holding control by the way. And I'm just going to pick a couple colors. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it. Bam. And once you have them set, or you could use find and you can actually type in the color code and hit OK. Now these colors are in my thread chart, but I also don't just have Gunold. Most people, they have Madeira as well. I'm gonna choose their classic 40, and, oh, sorry, I screwed that up. Uh, where'd I go? My threads. 
copy, I then hit copy, and now you're gonna select Madeira. Right there. Now I'm looking at all of Madeira's colors. I'm just gonna grab a couple, like Penny. Um, I wanna grab some that it makes it easy so it stands out. And we'll do like Tusk. Okay, so now we have some Gunold and we have some Madeira as well. So that's pretty much all you need. Uh, once you have that, you can hit close. Go ahead, find it on the left column, bring it over. You can either hit the uh, the one greater than is going to move it to the right, just the one you have selected. If you hit that one, it's going to move them all to the right. So do that, and there you go. Now you have all of the colors that you have on your shelf in Hatch. So now I can go through, say I do need to convert this full color patch to the ones that I have because my digitizer that I... Uh, paid to digitize this patch for me say if that was the case uh, They just picked random colors, but I want to send this actual design image to my customer. I can select uh, that entire color and I can click on uh, Tusk and now it's a accurate representation of what actual colors I have on my shelf and I could make this in a couple of minutes on my embroidery machine and they could have it in those exact colors so that's kind of one of the, the great reasons why I would recommend setting this up. Uh, and also, if you do run out of a color, say you used up all your orange, you can just go back into the thread chart, uh, hit manage, uh, make sure your thread chart is selected, grab the orange. You can either edit it and you can label the name as out of stock. Uh, I'll do that first. Uh, basically hit close okay now if I hover over it you're gonna see that it says out of stock so that's one way you can do it or if you don't want to see it at oops <laughs> uh, really only filming this because it's three in the morning and I couldn't sleep so I'm just trying to find something to pass time with uh, so you got out of stock I can just hit straight up remove BAM it's gone so now I don't even see it. So now I know that I don't have that color on my shelf. Now when I reorder it and I get it in, I can just go back in and copy it over from the Madeira catalog or the gun old, sulky, whatever. Really easy. And obviously if you're ordering it from a company, you know the color code, so it's you know it's gonna match. And I just find it the most uh, easiest way to actually keep your colors accurate. So we all know that the default colors that come with Hatch are not actual colors. So, uh, If you found this video helpful, I uh, recommend that you check out more of our articles and videos that you can find either on our YouTube channel. Uh, the best way to find all of our content is to go to embnerd.com and from there you can see a bunch of different buttons and stuff uh, take you to either our YouTube channel, you can join our Facebook group from there, uh, or look at our articles on there and get a couple of deals from there. So highly recommend you check that out, embnerd.com. Thank you.